Galaxies are systems composed of empty space, interstellar gas, and cosmic dust. They typically contain anywhere from a million to a trillion stars held together by gravity. But it would be a mistake to see galaxies as solely standalone structures. Just imagine a massive gravitational force of billions of solar masses pulling in all kinds of stuff, ranging from small debris to even smaller galaxies. In this journey, you'll find out how galaxy satellites work and get to know the coolest Milky Way's neighbors, the closest satellite galaxies. Have you ever wondered if galaxies have satellites and what they might look like? In fact, there is such a thing as a satellite galaxy. It is a small-sized structure comprising thousands or sometimes billions of stars that are pulled by gravitational forces of much bigger galaxies. If you look around the Milky Way, you'll see at least several side galaxies, like the Large Magellanic Cloud or Canis Major Dwarf Galaxy. Generally, galaxies are massive standalone structures which are separated by voids. Sometimes it might be too hard to distinguish where one galaxy ends and another begins. However, it might be hard to distinguish between a massive galaxy and its satellite. For example, Canis Major, a commonly recognized satellite galaxy of the Milky Way, can be viewed as a dense area of faraway stars that are still part of the Milky Way. Eventually, many small satellite galaxies are destined to be pulled in by the gravity of their more massive neighbors. This is exactly what can happen to small galaxies near the Milky Way. But first, let's see what those galaxies are. We'll start our journey with our closest neighbor. Canis Major Dwarf is the closest known galaxy to the Milky Way. It was discovered in 2003 by an international team of French, Italian, British, and Australian astronomers. It is located only 25,000 light years from the Sun and 42,000 light years from the galactic center. Originally, the galaxy had an elliptical shape. However, it is becoming more irregular as it is being pulled apart by the gravitational field of the Milky Way galaxy. Tidal disruption causes a filament of stars to trail behind it as it orbits the Milky Way, forming a complex ring-like structure. This 200,000 light year long filament is known as the Monoceros Ring and actually wraps three times around our galaxy. Several globular structures surround Canis Major. The analysis of the stars associated with it suggests that galaxies may grow in size by swallowing their smaller neighbors. The next galaxy we see is actually on the other side of the Milky Way than the Sun and is a bit farther than Canis Major Dwarf, lying about 70,000 light years away. Sagittarius Dwarf Elliptical Galaxy, or simply SAGDEG is an elliptical, loop-shaped satellite galaxy of the Milky Way, which was discovered in 1994. It contains four globular clusters in its main body. SAGDEG is roughly 10,000 light years across. However, despite its big size, its integrity will likely be disrupted by the tidal forces from the Milky Way. In fact, it is so close to us that some of the Sagdeg stars are actually in the outermost regions of the Milky Way. Some researchers believe that most of Sagdeg will one day merge with the Milky Way, while the remaining part will become intergalactic vagabonds. A little farther is our next stop, with two similar galaxies called the Magellanic Clouds. They are two irregular galaxies. The Large Magellanic Cloud and the Small Magellanic Cloud, or simply LMC and SMC. They orbit the Milky Way once every 1.5 million years and each other once every 900 million years. Both systems are spiral galaxies with bar-shaped central structures made of stars. Let's look at each of them closely. The Large Magellanic Cloud is about 163,000 light-years away. 
The diameter of the LMC is about 14,000 light years, and it weighs approximately 10 billion solar masses. LMC is visible as a faint cloud from the southern hemisphere. A stellar bar in the center is a little lopsided, and its spiral arms have likely been shifted by tidal interactions from the small Magellanic Cloud and the Milky Way's gravity. East and west wings are nearer the Milky Way than the middle. LMC is rich in gas and dust, and is currently undergoing vigorous star formation activity. The Small Magellanic Cloud is a dwarf irregular galaxy with a total mass of approximately 7 billion solar masses. It is located at a distance of about 200,000 light years and is visible with a naked eye. The galaxy hosts several hundred million stars. Much like the LMC, its original spiral shape was warped by the Milky Way's gravitational forces into an irregular spiral barred structure. SMC is connected to LMC with a cloud of gas, which means that the galaxies tidally interact with each other. Chemically speaking, both galaxies are rich in gas and have very low metallicity, much like the early universe. This means that by simply observing the Magellanic Clouds, astronomers may learn exactly what happened billions of years ago. No wonder that Robert Burnham Jr. calls LMC an astronomical treasure house, a great celestial laboratory for the study of the growth and evolution of the stars. The next galaxy, called Draco Dwarf, is about 100,000 light years farther from the Sun than the large Magellanic Cloud. It is a spheroidal galaxy that was discovered in 1954 while conducting Palomar Observatory Sky Survey. Unfortunately, Draco Dwarf cannot be seen by the naked eye due to its low luminosity. The galaxy contains a lot of red giants of varying composition. While metal-rich stars are concentrated in the center, there are many metal-poor ones at the periphery. The majority of stars in Draco Dwarf are quite old and were formed more than 10 billion years ago. A small burst of star-forming activity happened two to three billion years ago. According to Dr. Craig Tyler, the galaxy may potentially hold large amounts of dark matter due to its apparent immense mass-to-light ratio. Our next point covers not one, but two satellite galaxies. Both Ursa Major 1 and 2 are dwarf spheroidal galaxies orbiting the Milky Way. They were discovered in 2005 and 2006, respectively. Ursa Major Dwarf 1 is located 330,000 light years away from the Sun, while Ursa Major 2 is significantly closer and only 100,000 light years away. The irregular elliptical shape of both galaxies suggests the process of tidal disruption. They are among the smallest galaxy satellites in the Milky Way. Both galaxies are extraordinarily dim. For example, the cumulative luminosity of all the stars in Ursa Major 2 is just 4,000 times higher than the Sun, while the total mass of the galaxy is about 5 million solar masses. Both galaxies are ancient and extremely metal deficient. It has been established that Ursa Major 2 contains 300 times less heavy elements than the Sun. The majority of stars in both galaxies are old, with many of them reaching the age of 10 billion years. The only significant difference between Ursa Major 1 and 2 is their size. Going farther still, the next point in our journey is Antlia 2. It is a dwarf satellite galaxy of the Milky Way that lies behind the galactic disk in the constellation of Antlia. The galaxy was discovered using data from the European Space Agency's Gaia spacecraft in November 2018. It spans some 9,450 light years and is 424,000 light years away from the Sun. What makes Antlia 2 unique is that it has the lowest surface brightness of any galaxy discovered. In fact, it is 10,000 times less bright than the Large Magellanic Cloud, 
despite having a similar size. Antlia II is also about 100 times more diffuse than any known ultra-diffuse galaxy. 159 member stars have been identified using the Anglo-Australian Telescope. Antlia II inhabits one of the least dense dark matter halos. Observations also showed strong tidal stripping, meaning that the galaxy changes its shape because of gravitational forces of the Milky Way. However, not only does the Milky Way affect Antlia II, but the reverse is also true. Recent studies suggest that this satellite galaxy may have caused ripples in the Milky Way's outer disk. Finally, let's head on to one of the most distant galaxies on our journey. Located a whopping 3.4 million light years away, the Sagittarius Dwarf Irregular Galaxy, or SAGDIG, is a dwarf galaxy in the constellation of Sagittarius. The word irregular in the name suggests that the galaxy lacks definite form or structure. It shall not be confused with the elliptical galaxy bearing the same name. It was discovered in 1977 using the ESO 1 meter Schmidt telescope. Sagittarius dwarf is quite luminous and has been going through a long star formation process. As a result, many of its stars are not that old, with the average age ranging between 4 and 8 billion years. From the point of view of chemical composition, the stars of Sagittarius dwarf are quite metal poor, making them ideal candidates for exploring similar objects in the early universe. It has been an exciting journey to the edges of the Milky Way galaxy and beyond. Now you know our galactic neighbors and understand what they can teach us. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep the next episodes coming.